Elizabethan outdoor theater started in 1575 when the London city authorities imposed a code of practice upon the players which drove them out of city limits. In 1576, James Burbage leased a plot of land in Finsbury Fields and built the first custom-made London theater, duly named The Theater. This theater inspired the erection of The Curtain, which was built in the same area. The success of these two playhouses led to the later construction of more theaters across the river on Bankside, which became a theater center. The Rose, the Swan, the Globe, and the Fortune were all in the same vicinity. Hello there, my name is uh, James Burbage. I'm very excited to be a part of the theater on the Thames. Real world will be quite interesting. I'm very excited to see the so-called other six people in the house that are going to be important people of my time. I don't know why they're very important, but uh, I guess we shall see. You don't think Shakespeare is important? It, it, William Shakespeare? William Shakespeare. As an old really? Yeah, Is you're rooming with him. In, in the same bed? Yeah? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Oh god! When I found out that James Burbage was going to be in the house, my good old buddy JB, I just lost it. I thought about uh, the memories, the, the time we spent together. It was a uh, magical years. Uh, anyways, it'll be good to reconnect with a good friend. I haven't seen him in so long! Oh my god! Oh. Uh, uh, he's a very good friend, old friend of mine, and we, we used to be together a lot. Um, but enough about that, yeah? <laughs> uh, I was one of the first real important people of the theatre of my time. And I built one of the first theatres with my brother-in-law. Um, I was a part of the Light Sister Players, and then I went on to create the Blackfriars Theatre. Um, basically, I do believe I am the most important person of this house, aside from William. You don't even know who the other people are. Doesn't matter. Who are the other people, anyway? Queen Elizabeth? Eh. Mary, Queen of Scots. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you'd know the other ones. I think you were dead by the time they came around. But... Some character named uh, Giles Allen or something. I, I don't even remember. Uh, he went all Puritan on our ass. And he wanted to lease land to us, you know, but he wouldn't allow us to build a theater. He got the land and he decided to build a theater on it and he called it the theater. To be Though they had the land for quite a bit of time, this lease was for, for a very long period of time. Plague even happened in between it and all the theaters were closed. They weren't going to release it to us. So we all came up with this great idea. We were completely smashed off an of eggnog and one for a clause in this, this contract that they had, they would have lost the theater entirely, but I like to call it the Santa Clause, because one Christmas, uh, because of this clause, they got
and uh, rebuild it. And we built the bridge. It was quite an experience. Uh, I think I still have some splinters, but you know, it's all for the good of course. The Globe Theatre was built by brothers Richard and Cuthbert, whose father James Burbage built the theatre in 1576. When the lease was up on the land in Finsbury Fields, the theatre was taken apart and its pieces used in the construction of the Globe over on Bankside. Shakespeare's company, the Chamberlain's Men, performed at the Globe, and it was during a performance of Henry VIII in 1613 that the Globe burnt down, but it was rebuilt in 1614.